so once again welcome you all to today's session i hope you have been doing uh, well during summer break and i also wish you all are safe staying at your home so let us begin with today's session today we are going to discuss in uh, business studies about unit 6 that is staffing and this is second part of uh, this video this presentation i am tej kumar bharadwaj pgt commerce kv scl dhanpuri first of all let us have a quick look on concept map we have already discussed first three units you can see the videos on channel and i strongly recommend that please uh, watch all the videos in sequence after that we discussed about planning uh, as the first step of process of management we have already discussed about organizing and after organizing we were discussing about staffing in staffing we have the following things to discuss these are the learning objectives of staffing chapter we have already covered understand the concept and importance of staffing staffing as a part of human resource management staffing in the process uh, steps in the process of staffing meaning of recruitment sources of recruitment internal as well as external with their respective merits and demerits in today's session we will be discussing about selection its process all the steps in the selection process then we will discuss about concept of training and development importance of training for employees as well as for the organization and finally we were we will discuss about training versus development so let us begin with staffing in staffing according to narayan murthy former cb ceo of infosys our assets walk out the door each evening we have to make sure that they come back by the next morning so the, it shows the importance of staffing for any organization the foundation of any organization is the talented and hard working people who are the principal assets of firm we know nowadays we call human resource means human beings are not merely the workers not merely the labor rather they are the assets for the firm staffing is that part of the process of management which is concerned with obtaining utilizing and maintaining a satisfactory and satisfied workforce dear students in organizing we uh, have already discussed about this that how a structure is made in the organization so that the task the objectives of the organization may be achieved in a efficient and successful manner so in staffing what we do is we appoint people on the post we developed in organizing means we fill the vacant post we created during the process of organizing so staffing is the process of manning the organization in your school you must have observed the hierarchy of management first of all mr principal or uh, ms principal after that there are various departments and there are hods head of departments of those respective departments and people working teachers working in those departments so this is how we man the organization during the process of staffing have a look on the staffing process estimating the manpower need recruitment which is a positive process we have already discussed selection this will be our focus today placement and orientation training and development we will be discussing today performance appraisal promotion and career planning and compensation part so today we will discuss in detail about selection selection process selection is a process process means anything which is having systematic steps sequence so selection begins where recruitment ends 
we all we are already aware recruitment is a positive process in which we first of all identify the prospective source of our employees and we go and motivate them after that when they apply in our organization it's our next step to choose the best workers out of the total applicants so selection starts where recruitment ends you can see the diagram out of various recruiters we have to select the best one which is suitable for our organization so selection is the process of identifying the most suitable candidate in the staffing process when we discuss about selection there are few things to know about selection process selection is the process of identifying and choosing the best person out of a number of prospective candidates for a job those who have applied in our organization it is a negative process you will have to remember it can be asked in a objective type question in form of true false or fill in the blanks that recruitment is a positive process because we try to increase the number of applicants and selection is a negative process because at every step of selection process we keep on reducing the number of applicants so that we can get the best one out of total applicants so selection is a negative process it ensures that the organization get the best out of, out of the total applicants it also enhances the self esteem and prestige of the applicants those who are selected they also feel proud that we have been selected out of many applicants after that the selection process divides the entire list of candidates in two groups dear student i would like to draw your attention please listen to it very carefully this selection process divides the entire list of applicants in two groups one who will be offered the job and other who will not be offered the job because after completing all the steps of selection finally a merit list is prepared in which out of the all suitable candidates we have to choose the best so it is not necessary that, that after completing all the steps of the selection process you are selected no you may be rejected even at the last step that is merit list so the selection process divides the entire list of applicants in two groups one who will be offered the job and one who will not be offered the job so choosing the best men out of total applicants you must have seen a, a game show on tv takeshi's castle in that what happens initially there are so many applicants there are so many players at the initial stage after that they play various games which are in sequence and after every step the people keep on reducing the number of players keep on reducing only a few are able to make it to the next level you must have enjoyed that show i i used to like it very much and finally only a few only someone is a winner just like this in selection also out of many applicants after uh, completing various steps of the selection process only a few are lucky only a few are suitable for the organization who are declared as selected so what are those steps of the selection process we will discuss now important steps in the process of selection very one first is primary screening we will discuss in detail all these steps in upcoming slides after that selection tests there are five types of tests usually which are conducted to choose the workers or the staff intelligence test aptitude test personality test trait test and interest test those who clear the test because many of them are rejected at this level a large number of applicants are rejected at this level so only those who are selected or clear this step they are required to appear for employment interview many of them may get rejected here also and after that reference and background checks are done then medical examination job is offered to workers and finally those who accept the offer with them the departments 
sign a contract of employment having all the terms and conditions of that job or contract now let us discuss one by one all the steps in selection process dear students there may be a direct question we will be discussing what kind of uh, questions are generally asked in cbsc so there may be a direct question or there may be a case study from this chapter so first of all primary screening or pre preliminary screening is done in selection process the basic purpose of the primary screening is to filter to scrutiny only the suitable candidates who must appear for the test so uh, what i have observed is uh, generally a uh, interview kind of uh, thing is conducted or a small test is taken a pen paper test or uh, the documents are scrutinized whether the uh, candidate is fulfilling all the terms and conditions or qualifications for the job or not so many of them who are not suitable for the job they are screened out at the very first stage primary screening is a very very important task so that a basic filtering of the candidates is done only those who are suitable must appear for the test after primary screening the most important step of the selection process is selection test the selection tests are conducted to check the ability and suitability of the candidate for the organization as well as for the job so generally trait test aptitude test interest test personality test and intelligence tests are conducted there may be a direct question like what are the five types of tests during the selection process so you must see all the next slides very carefully and you must try to understand what kind of tests are conducted and why in the selection process very first test is trade test trade tests are conducted to check the ability of candidate to perform the desired tasks there may be trades like driving typing uh, or uh, many other such things cooking and all so the employees are the the uh, the, uh, the candidates are put into a test and we check their dexterity level manual dexterity level that they are able to perform it or not so trade tests are conducted at two levels number one simple trade test in this the workers are supposed to perform the task for which they are being recruited or selected so for example uh, driving hum kisi ko karwa ke dekhenge ya typing karwa ke dekhenge तो उसमें ये रहेगा वो जनरली इज कि ड्राइविंग में माना जाता है कि अगर हम इसको रिक्रूट कर लेंगे और बेसिक ड्राइविंग इसको आती है तो ही विल बी एक्सपर्ट ड्यूरिंग द ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ टाइम सो ही विल बी एक्सपर्ट ऑफ दैट सो देर इज नॉट अर कॉम्पिटिशन काइंड ऑफ थिंग मीन्स ड्राइविंग आती है यू आर सेलेक्टेड आपसे बस कार चलवा के देखेंगे या कोई वेहीकल चलवा के देखेंगे i have been a part of uh, selection process when uh, we were recruiting the driver for uh, the bus in army school so the next level is manual dexterity dexter aap logo ne agar cartoon dekha hai to dexter ek aata tha so dexter means the person who is efficient is uh, in performing the task so to check the dexterity level a competition kind of test is there so those who are uh, uh, the top rankers only those uh, only those candidates will be selected not everyone so you can see driving test or typing test kind of ya shorthand jisko hum bolte hain ya letter writing that kind of test may be conducted to check the ability of a candidate to perform a specific task second type of test is aptitude test this is a very important test and it shows the ability of a candidate to learn the new skills to learn the new skills i remember a story where the candidate was uh, asked many questions in the test first question he says no sir i don't know the answer second question no sir i don't know the answer can you do this no sir i cannot so interviewer uh, interviewer asked in a little uh, kind of uh, aggression 
why should I select you, hire you? He answered, because sir, I know how to learn. And that person was selected. So dear students, ability to learn the new skills is called aptitude test. And aptitude tests are conducted to check whether the candidate can learn new skills or not. If you have seen the uh, pattern type of tests, like identify what will be the next pattern or series type of tests are generally conducted to check the aptitude of a worker to learn the new skills. It is very much essential for the personal growth of the uh, candidate also. So if he is able to uh, learn the new skills, he can do progress in his career as well as he will be suitable for the organization. Third type of test is interest test. Dear students, interest tests are conducted to know what kind of interest a person is having. Generally, uh, you must have faced the interviews where your hobbies are asked. Hobbies are asked in test to know your interests or involvements because if you are not liking your job you cannot you cannot do progress in your job if you are loving your job then you can do leaps and bound progresses you must have seen these are some examples uh, the upper one is mr palash he is dr palash so uh, in spite of being a successful doctor he chosen the career to be a singer and he was a successful singer also Are Meri Dharkan Are, you must have uh, listened to that song and his albums were very very uh, uh, huge success. The lower one is Mr. Chetan Bhagat. He is the topper of IIT and IIM. He has written many books, 5 point someone, 2 states and many movies have been made on the stories based on, by, uh, by Chetan Bhagat. Uh, in Three Idiots movie, you must have seen the character of Farhan. He wanted to be a wildlife photographer. But the society was having a pressure that he should do engineering. And finally, he, what he did is, he chosen the career of wildlife photo photographer and he became a very successful person. I have heard a story about a doctor also. Uh, who, were, uh, not feeling, who was not feeling well uh, in, in his mental state, so he visited this psychiatrist after his uh, psychoanalysis the reports the doctor asked that what is the problem he said sir i wanted to be a painter if i would have a, a non-successful painter i uh, would have been happy sir i am a doctor i'm a successful doctor but i am not happy so happiness is uh, actually uh, connected with your interest or involvement in your profession. So you, so you should choose the career you are liking it. Whether you are having involvement or interest in the profession or not, we conduct, uh, to know that we conduct the interest test. Personality test. The word personality has been taken from the Greek word persona. In Greek, when the stage uh, dramas were conducted, were uh, performed, so the artists used to wear a mask, face mask. So what kind of face mask is person or artist is carrying on his face? That kind of personality he is carrying on the stage. So we all have some kind of personality. Why this test is conducted? Everyone is having his reaction level, maturity level or value systems, etc. So many professions require a, a special kind of personality. We have seen the movies like Jolly LLB in which a person he is fighting up to a, large, a great level for the justice. Or uh, you can imagine a person uh, uh, having a kind of soft uh, spoken skills can be a good doctor. A doctor must have a kind of soft uh, uh, spoken skills. So these are the personalities or personality traits a person should carry and every profession kind a special specific kind of personality characters. So to see whether your personality is suitable for that job or not, we conduct personality tests. Intelligence test. This is another very very important test 
इंटेलिजेंस टेस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आस्क अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर सेल्फ वॉट इज इंटेलिजेंस इंटेलिजेंस इज प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ थियोरिटिकल नॉलेज इन रियल लाइफ सिचुएशन मीन्स वॉट आई हैव लर्न इन थ्योरी हाउ प्रोम्पली एंड एक्यूरेटली आई अप्लाई दैट नॉलेज इन माई रियल लाइफ इज कॉल्ड आई क्यू और इंटेलिजेंस क्वेश्चन डियर स्टूडेंट सिचुएशन रिएक्शन टेस्ट इन इंटेलिजेंस टेस्ट वॉट वी डू इज वी जज द एबिलिटी टू टेक डिसीजन एंड जजमेंट ऑफ अ पर्सन इन अ गिवेन सिचुएशन सो आई क्यू टेस्ट आर कंडक्टेड सिचुएशन रिएक्शन टेस्ट और इंटेलिजेंस टेस्ट this is a very very important uh, test because it shows how prompt or how accurate a person is what kind of decision making ability he is having so these were the five types of tests when a person clears this second level of tests he is required to appear for the employment interview so remember this is the third step in selection process interview is a formal in depth conversation conducted to evaluate the applicant suitability for the job the role of interviewer is to seek information and that of the interviewee is to provide the same though in present time the interviewee also seeks information from the interviewer uh, there are many things which cannot be assessed about a candidate through the tests although nowadays tests are very much wide very much scientific still many things are there which cannot be judged or assessed through the tests so to judge or assess those concepts of the personality those aspects of the personality of a candidate we conduct employment interviews one more very important purpose for conducting the employment interview is that the employee can uh, ask if, if he is having any doubt about the organization uh, about his job he can clarify then and there so nowadays it has become a pattern that the interviewer generally asks the interviewee that if you want to ask anything you can ask so relevant questions must be asked by the candidate at the time of interview interview gives uh, the interviewer an opportunity to judge the overall personality like sitting posture confidence level uh, uh, oratory skills uh, of the candidate during the employment se uh, interview session those who clear this level also they are coming to the next level that is reference and background checking dear students this is a very very important aspect in the selection process many employers request names addresses and telephone numbers of the reference for for the purpose of verifying informations and gaining additional information on the applicant previous employers or uh, the educational institutes or friends or relatives such people are generally contacted after the person clears the interview the purpose of reference and background checking is to see that the uh, candidate is not having any criminal background uh, or any kind of uh, disturbing behavior which he can affect our uh, present job or present organization also so reference and background checking especially uh, when we uh, want to see the uh, reliability of a person Uh, especially when the job is having kind of confidential nature uh, in army in uh, police a uh, great level of reference and background checking is done uh, so that the wrong kind of person are not uh, introduced into the organization so reference and background checking is another important step this step those who clear this step also means a selection decision is done simply the selection decision means making a merit list means the candidate has cleared all the steps for example there were 100 vacancies in the organization total 5000 applicants applied for the job and after doing all the steps of selection process tests interview reference and background checking everything now we have 150 final candidates who have cleared all the levels now what to do we have to select only 100 people so a final merit list is prepared on the basis of their total marks achieved or secured in various tests 
out of that merit list only the top 100 as are called as selected so this is called the selection decision means making a final merit of top level candidate how much uh, candidates or uh, uh, the applicants are required in the organization medical examination those who are finally selected they are called for the medical examination this medical examination is conducted to see uh, whether the person is not having any kind of communicable diseases or uh, the person is medically fit for the job or not uh, this kind of medical examination has a very very special importance in uh, armed forces although these medical examinations are important for every organization every types of uh, uh, organization but still they have a special importance in case of armed forces uh, you you'll be very happy to know that there are uh, you will be astonished to know that there are some uh, kind of rejections in armed forces which are called PR and TR permanent rejection and temporary rejection so flat foot अगर आपका पैर नीचे से फ्लैट है उसमें इस तरह का ग्रिप नहीं है इसका मतलब यू आर अनएबल टू रन प्रॉपरली एंड यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू परफॉर्म द ट्रेनिंग ट्रेनिंग सेशन सो सच काइंड ऑफ फ्लैट फुट पीपल आर कॉल्ड परमानेंट रिजेक्शन मींस दे कैन नॉट अप्लाई इन आर्मी अगेन एनी आर्म फोर्सेस अगेन लाइकवाइज फ्लैट फुट और नॉक नीज अगर आपके खड़े होने पर सीधे घुटने अगर आपके मिलते हैं सो इट इज कंसीडर्ड दैट यू कैन नॉट रन प्रॉपरली एंड सच रिजेक्शन आर कॉल्ड एज परमानेंट रिजेक्शन बट देर आर सम टेम्प्ररी रिजेक्शन ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल द कैंडिडेट इज अंडर वेट और ओवर वेट सो द कैंडिडेट आर गिवेन अ चांस टू रिमूव दैट शॉर्ट कमिंग एंड दे कैन अपियर फॉर मेडिकल एग्जामिनेशन अगेन एंड दे विल बी सेलेक्टेड also uh, the purpose of medical examination is that the person is not having any kind of communicable disease which can be spread in the organization and affect other also so after medical examination the job is offered to the candidate means a letter is sent to the candidate that you have been selected to ask for his confirmation to join the job why it is sent many purposes are there the very important purpose is that the person may have uh, I mean must be working somewhere and he'll have to uh, give a notice to leave the job to his previous employer number one number two the person must be uh, may be having uh, offers from more than one organization where he would like to choose which organization to join so uh, to get the confirmation from the candidate that he want to uh, join the uh, offer or not he want to join the organization or, or, or not a job offer is sent to his or her uh, uh, email or uh, by through uh, post etc so when the person accepts the offer only then we go for next step otherwise the next candidate is called from the merit list generally these job offers are given uh, for a specific time period I mean within that time period you have to join and those who accept the offer the organization the department signs a contract of employment with the person the contract of employment is a kind of contract having all the terms and conditions of the job which employer and employee both have to follow or they are binding upon both employee and employers so what are the general contents of the contract of employment it is about salary working uh, the nature of work and uh, the types of leaves he can avail or retirement benefits and what kind of rights he is having what kind of duties he has to perform so here is a sample of employment contract or service agreement you can see it talks about the contract period travel expense accommodation working hours overtime leave benefits medical benefits transportation and retirement benefits basic salary and generally on these contracts of employments the employer and employee signs and other than that, other than that 
two witnesses two or four witnesses as per the nature of organization are have to sign so that the contract becomes valid so this was the total process of selection let us have a quick recall first of all primary screening is done after that selection tests are conducted having five types of tests intelligence test aptitude test trait test personality test and interest test those who clear the selection test also they have to appear for the interview after that reference and background checkings are done a selection decision is made after that medical examinations are done then the job is offered and those who accept the job they have to sign a contract employment also dear students after selection another very 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 important aspect of the staffing process is training and development training is a important aspect to make the person the the candidate selected suitable for the organization suitable to perform specific nature of tasks so training is a process by which the aptitudes skills and abilities of of, of employees to perform specific job i would like to add here not only specific job but specific job in specific format specific manner are increased it is a process of learning new skills and application of knowledge it attempts to improve the performance of the uh, employees for the current job or prepare them for any intended job training and development is very very important for the organization and actually it is uh, said that expense on training is not a waste rather it is a investment because it will yield returns to the organization so remember the question may be in form of uh, a statement form of question like expense done on training is a waste do you agree so what you have to write you have to write no expense on training is not a waste and then you will write the benefits of training uh, from the employees as well as from the organization point of view so let us discuss what are the benefits of training number 1 training improves the skills and knowledge of the employees so that the employee can perform a specific task in a better manner and he can have the opportunities of career advancement also it increases the performance of employee help him to earn more when he performs his uh, uh, task in a better way obviously his output will be more and he will have a chance to have Uh, over time and uh, bonuses and uh, other benefits offered from the organization training makes the employees more efficient to handle machines and he will be less prone to accident it will ensure the safety of the worker as well as the hazardous machines training increases the satisfaction and morale of the employees when a person is able to perform his task in a efficient manner he is able to earn more he must be feeling happy and it will not only increase the morale or uh, happiness level of the workers it will also increase the industrial peace there will be less conflict between organization and the employees now let us discuss the benefits of training from organization point of view training is a systematic learning always better than hit and trial methods which lead to wastage of efforts and money if we put the worker directly on the task he may commit some mistakes although he will learn in a long time but if we train him and then send to the job obviously he will be performing the task in a better way and he will uh, it will lead to less wastage of efforts and money it will increase to uh, it will increase the efficiency as well as effectiveness of the organization it enhances the employee's productivity both in terms of quantity and quality leading to higher profits for the organization training equips the future managers who can take over in case of emergency if we train the workers he can assist the coming new workers in case of emergencies when the supervisors are not there or supervisors are overburdened 
ट्रेनिंग इंक्रीजेस द एम्प्लॉयज मोराल रिड्यूस एबसेंटिज्म एंड एम्प्लॉय टर्न ओवर एम्प्लॉय टर्न ओवर आर नॉट एट ऑल कंसिडर्ड गुड फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो जनरली वेन अ पर्सन इज happy in the organization he is able to perform his all the task why he will absent from the job rather he will happily come to the organization and will try to uh, perform more and more so that he can earn more it will not only give benefit to the worker and it will also be beneficial for the organization finally it helps in obtaining effective response to fast changing environment technological and economic whenever there is introduction of a new machinery or uh, heavy changes uh, in the uh, uh, infrastructure or uh, the advancement of the machinery is done in that case training helps a lot by uh, adopting the new methods or adaptation to the new machinery by training difference between training and development dear student this question will be asked in four marks this will be a direct question so training is act of imparting knowledge and skills for performing a particular job you will have to focus on particular job training kisi khas kaam ko khas tarike se karne ke liye jo hum training dete hain jo skills uh, add karte hain that is called training so you have to remember of a specific task a specific manner is called training but development is a process of overall growth growth of employees for the future management task of increasing difficulty and scope then training is job oriented while development is life oriented it is career oriented training focuses to improve work efficiency rather development focuses on development of the personality of employees that he can apply to the higher levels in the organization training gives importance to organization goals training mein organization jyada important hai और ट्रेनिंग पर्सनल ग्रोथ उसकी कम इंपॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि यहां फोकस ये है कि द वर्कर इज एबल टू परफॉर्म द ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल टास्क इन एफिशिएंट मैनर और नॉट सो दैट द एफिशिएंसी एंड इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज इंक्रीज बट डेवलपमेंट गिव्स इंपॉर्टेंस टू द ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल एज वेल एज इंडिविजुअल गोल्स हेयर द फोकस इज शिफ्टेड फ्रॉम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू द एम्प्लॉय एंड लास्ट but not the least point in the uh, difference it will be in training role of trainer is more important and role of trainee is less important but in development the role of learner is more important that how up to what extent he wants to add his efficiency level so this question will be asked directly in four marks very important question coming to the training method this is another question which can be asked directly or indirectly means in form of case study also this question can be asked training methods so before we discuss the four training methods which are included in our syllabus let us have a look what kind of trainings are there the training may be on the job and off the job dear students on the job training methods are those methods which are applied to the workplace when the employee is actually working employee learns while working means he is put on the actual workplace and he learns his task then and there on the actual workplace like for example in the banks in the bank the trainee the newly recruited employee is directly put on the table on the desk he is doing his daily task and he is learning generally job rotation methods are adopted in the clerical job means uh, for 15 days you will be doing uh, work on this desk then you will be shifted to uh, another desk and he becomes expert of doing all the tasks of the job methods the workers are trained keeping them uh, uh, segregated or in isolation from the actual work uh, workplace uh, how i uh, perceive these two methods is when the actual task work done by the trainee is included in organization's output then it is a on the job method jo worker produce kar raha hai training ke dauran agar wo firm ke production mein included hai then it is on the job method and if the 
the output given by the employee is not included in firm's production during the training, then it is obviously off the job method. So you'll have to remember on the job methods and off the job methods. Dear students, in our syllabus for 2020-21, CBSE has included only four methods. So one is apprenticeship method, second is internship, third is induction, and fourth is vestibule. I repeat them. Apprenticeship, internship, and induction. These are, all these three are the on-the-job methods. So remember, all these are the on-the-job methods. And then, of the job method, it includes vestibule. Wahi rakh do, wahi rakh do. Ha, wahi bahar. So, uh, I'm sorry for the disturbance. So, dear students, let us discuss all the four methods of training one by one. Apprenticeship programs, internship, induction, and vestibule. Apprenticeship programs, uh, this training method is generally applied to the trade. For example, plumber, electrician, or motor mechanics. So in this training method, the trainee is kept under the expert trainer till he becomes the expert. Remember, in this method, the trainee is kept under the expert trainer till he becomes the expert of his trade. So generally, the plumbers, electrician, iron, iron workers, or motor mechanics, uh, they are provided or imparted training using this method. اس میں کر کے سیکھنے پہ بہت جور ہے اس میں سارا فوکس اس بات پہ ہے کہ جو ٹرینی ہے وہ اپنے ایکسپورٹ کو دیکھ کے اوبزرو کر کے اور بیچ بیچ میں کوئیشنز پوچھ کر کے کہ سر یہ کیا ہو رہا ہے اس کو دیکھ کر کے سیکھتا ہے سو پریکٹیکل ٹریننگ is there سو جنرلی آل دا ٹریڈز آر دا ٹریننگ فار دا ٹریڈز آر ڈن ڈن تھرو دس میتھڈ ریمبر This training is given to plumbers, electrician, iron workers, motor mechanics, etc. Second training method is internship. The key word for identifying this method is theory plus practical together. Theory plus practical together. Remember. So it is a joint program of training in which educational institutes and the business firms cooperate, select candidate, carry on regular studies for the prescribed period. They also work in the some uh, factory or office to acquire practical knowledge and skills also. So other than theory, the candidates or trainees are put under real life situations where they learn the real life situations also how to apply. So all the chartered accountants or the management trainees, they are get imparted training through this method. In engineering also, the candidates or students or trainees are required to work in some real life situations in some companies for a specific time period. Then only they are given the degree. Third, induction. Induction is very, very uh, important training method and induction provides an opportunity for the employee as well as employer to be familiar with each other. It gives a, a healthy environment in which the organization and the candidate they come to know about each other in a very harmonic environment. So generally the induction training are conducted to create a positive atmosphere, address any new job concerns, to increase the comfort level and feelings of the uh, feeling of belongingness, increase knowledge of the organization and procedure and to policies, to share the organizational values with the trainees and to share any job specific information. We the teachers of Kendri with the allies are also put under the induction training method for uh, near about uh, 21 days. So it is a method of welcoming the new member in the team or organization. All these three methods were on the job method I am repeating again. Apprenticeship, internship and Induction. All these are the on-the-job methods. Means the worker is actually working in the organization and learning. Now coming to 
a very technical i will call it technical method of training vestibule training i am giving a special focus on this training method because a separate question for one mark may be asked for you from, uh, from uh, for in your exam jab koi bahut heavy bahut hi sophisticated or complicated machine ho ya bahut hi mehangi device ho to worker ko hum seedha us machine ke upar nahi bitha sakte इससे न केवल फाइनेंशियल लॉस होगा बल्कि ह्यूमन कैजुअलिटीज भी हो सकती हैं और एक्सीडेंट्स भी हो सकते हैं सो इन दैट केस व्हाट वी डू इज वी यूज द सिम्युलेटर्स द मारुति ड्राइविंग स्कूल इफ यू हैव विजिटेड और इफ यू हैव नॉट विजिटेड यू शुड गो टू द शोरूम ऑफ मारुति एंड डू सम प्रोजेक्ट वर्क ऑन इट सो इन मारुति ड्राइविंग स्कूल दे हैव अ सिम्युलेटर काइंड ऑफ मशीन दैट इज नॉट एक्चुअल कार बट इफ यू सिट ऑन दैट and use the screens and uh, steering etc you will feel that you are driving a car it is just like a video game you are watching your screen and all the uh, responses of the machine are just like actual car so first of all the work, the trainees are made comfortable on that machine when they uh, acquire basic skills to handle that machine then they are put on the actual machine or actual device so vestibule method employees learn their jobs on the equipment that they will be using but the training is conducted away from the actual work floor actual work environments are created in a classroom or employee use the same material files or equipment and this is usually done when the employees are required to handle a sophisticated costly machine or equipment so this was the vestibule method dear students agar aap logon ne movie dekhi hai aankhein jiske andar amitabh bachchan aur अक्षय कुमार परेश रावल ये लोग हैं तो दे आर हैविंग अ टास्क आई विल नॉट डिस्कस अबाउट दैट टास्क एंड दे आर मेंटेनिंग द सेम स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दैट वर्क प्लेस इन दे एट देयर होम दे ऑल आर प्रैक्टिसिंग देयर एंड देन एक्चुअली दे आर परफॉर्मिंग द टास्क इन रियल सो वेस्टिब्यूल ट्रेनिंग मेथड इज अ मेथड ऑफ द जॉब ट्रेनिंग मेथड द वर्कर्स आर केप्ड इन आइसोलेशन फ्रॉम द एक्चुअल वर्क i hope you enjoyed the session let us have a discussion on what kind of questions may be asked in this chapter or in this unit so first of all have a look on the short type answers uh, enumerate the importance important sources of the recruitment so we all know there are two types of uh, sources uh, internal as well as external so we can have uh we would like to uh, uh we would have to write the names of these resources only no need to explain them because it is a short answer type question then what is meant by recruitment and how it is different from selection recruitment ka definition yahan likhenge recruitment is a process of identifying the prospective source of employees and to motivate them for the task or the job how it is different from selection recruitment is a positive process Re, uh, selection is a negative process then define training and how it is different from education training is imparting skills for doing a specific task in a specific manner how it is different from education training is limited it is for specific task only education is not only for life but increasing the level of uh, information और नॉलेज इज कॉल्ड एजुकेशन एजुकेशन में जितना हमें मिला है वी आर सपोज टू इंक्रीज इट एंड पास इट ऑन टू द कमिंग जनरेशन और अदर्स डिस्टिंग बिटवीन ट्रेनिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट सो ट्रेनिंग इज ट्रेनर ओरिएंटेड डेवलपमेंट इज ट्रेनिंग ओरिएंटेड ट्रेनिंग इज फ्रॉम द एम्प्लॉय द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड डेवलपमेंट इज फ्रॉम द लर्नर और एम्प्लॉयज पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ट्रेनिंग इज Uh, narrower and development is a wider concept why internal sources of recruitment considered to be more economical because isme hame koi advertisement karne ki zarurat nahi hoti aur uh, lengthy selection process aur recruitment processes ko follow nahi karna hota hai and hame within organization jo hamare employees hain unhi mein se hum log choose kar sakte hain and moreover we need we need not to impart the training to the workers who have been selected through internal source because they are already familiar with the work culture 
what is the importance of staffing function in today's environment staffing is very important because it adds the human resource to the organization it is the process of manning the organization it is the process of filling the organization and keeping it filled nowadays human beings are not only considered as labor rather they are the resource human resource then some long answer type questions define the staffing process and various steps involved in, in it so uh, what i recommend is please watch the videos go through the ncert books and write down this uh, the answer for this question in at least about 2 to 3 pages including diagram already we have discussed all the steps involved in staffing process in detail so you will be learning it better when you write it explain the procedure of selection of employees in today's video we have done it selection mein sabse pehle hum log primary screening karte hain then selection test karte hain after that employee interviews are there then reference and background checking medical checkups so all these steps in the process you have to write what are the advantages of training to the individual and to organization we have already discussed so try to write the answer in at least two pages including diagrams the staffing function is performed by every manager and not necessarily by a separate department explain so here you have to uh, write uh, an uh, essay kind of thing between staffing as a part of human resource management okay so this discussion uh, we have already done in previous video uh, watch the video see the books read the books and write the answers some hot question case studies based question the workers of a factory are unable to work on the new machines launched and always they are demanding the help of a supervisor the supervisor is uh, therefore overburdened with their frequent calls suggest the remedy what can be done dear students try to give the answer yes we can give the training to our workers so that they are able to perform or work on the new machines in a efficient manner then they will not be calling the supervisor frequently only when some uh, exceptional problems are there they will call their supervisor otherwise they will be able to handle the complications by themselves the workers of a factory remain idle because of lack of knowledge of the high tech machines and frequent visit of the engineers made which causes high overhead charges how can this problem be removed answer is once again training yes true so training can be given to the workers and they will be able to handle the high tech machines by themselves they will not be able uh, will not be in requirement to call the engineers the quality of production is not as per standards on investigation it was observed that most of the workers are not fully aware of the proper operation of the machine what could be the way to improve the accuracy accuracy yes exactly the answer is training so very well done students i hope you enjoyed the video now we have completed up to staffing in upcoming videos of the ro uh, you will we will be discussing about the uh, directing and its components till then stay safe stay inside stay happy thank you very much